What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I picked up the game last night, played about four or five hours. I kind of want to give you my initial impressions, my, you know, kind of first thoughts, the things that I, you know, kind of experienced in the game right off the bat. Um, I am playing on a day one PS4, so I know people will have different experiences on, you know, PS4 Pros, uh, Xbox Series X's. Of course, if you have a new Xbox, a Series S or a Series X, uh, you'll have different experiences with that. If you watch this a few days down the road, you have a PS5. I know everyone's going to have different experiences if you're playing on PC, but I just want to let you guys know I am playing on uh, kind of the, uh, like I said, the day one PS4, the OG PS4, and I think that's going to kind of be important down the road about a few things that I'm going to talk about. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Um, the first thing that I really noticed when I, when I started playing the game is the combat does feel different than Odyssey. It feels a little bit more, uh, I guess, that brutal try to hop in and, and destroy the enemies as quickly as possible, which fits with the whole narrative of being a viking you want to hop into fights beat these enemies as quickly as possible uh and probably the most brutal way that you can i mean there's some pretty brutal fight scenes in here uh and it does feel a good bit different than odyssey odyssey felt like it was more uh kind of you know blocking pairing roll dodging while you can still do that stuff in the game so far all the skills that i have unlocked and i have a good bit of skills unlocked in the melee part of the tree um most things aren't really allowing me to, you know, block or parry or dodge roll better. They're just allowing me to do more damage. So it does feel like it wants you to hop in and just kind of have that brutal style combat that you would expect from something like a Viking time period game. That may change later down the road when you unlock more skills, but so far that's kind of what it feels like. And I am glad that the, uh, the combat does feel different than Odyssey. You don't want to have the exact same experience combat wise. Because then the two games would blend too much together, in my opinion, and it wouldn't feel like a new Assassin's Creed game. Uh, one thing that I will say that's kind of been disappointing is there are a lot of bugs. I have experienced a lot of issues with doors that are supposed to unlock, not unlocking, and I have to restart the game to get them to work. I've had issues where I have been in water, like I just was there on, on screen, and I've gotten stuck in it. It's like something blocks you from getting out, and you can't get out whatsoever. Uh, I had to restart for that as well. And I had had a few issues when I'm in my longboat going down the river. Uh, where things would just kind of come up through the water, like, you know, screen tearing, whatever the case may be, uh, objects, whatever it would be, uh, would block your path. And I've had to run into some kind of invisible wall a few times. There's been a lot of bugs, which I was really surprised to see, but not at the same time, because there's been a lot of bugs in Assassin's Creed games in the past. Are these game breaking? No. Are they annoying? Yes. Will they get fixed? Hopefully very soon with some kind of patch in the next several days, weeks, whatever the case may be. Uh, when it comes to decisions, I haven't had too many decisions that are going to impact the main story just yet. But at the same time, it seems like no matter who you carry on a conversation with, whether it be a main storyline character, someone you just meet in some of the towns, the conversations are definitely made to be like a, a classic style RPG game. You have a lot of different answers you can give. And it seems like a lot of these uh, answers that you give are going to affect the way the story works, either in a minor way or a major way down the road. So just keep that in mind. It does. They definitely did a good job, in my opinion, uh, of making it feel like an open world RPG, even more than Odyssey did. And with kind of going with that, so far what I've unlocked of the map, there's tons of exploration you can do. There's tons of, of places you can discover and kind of go into and, you know, find loot or find treasures or whatever the case may be. And also it looks very good. Like I said at the start, I am playing on a classic day one <laughs> PS4, uh, the OG PS4, as most people call it. And when I said to begin with, that's going to kind of go into what I'm talking about later. That's what this is. I mean, to me, it looks really good for me to be playing on an older console. I mean, I'm not playing on a PS4 Pro or, you know, or anything like that. I was surprised at how good it looked on, you know, this day one old school PS4. And I'm really looking forward to see what it looks like once I can get my hands on a new gen console. Uh, you know, what it looks like for people playing on PC, that kind of thing. Uh, I really am surprised at how good the game looks. Um, and overall, no matter what you're playing on, I think you're going to have a very good experience when it comes to just the visuals of the game and also just kind of that immersion with everything together, you know, the, the combat system, the, the way the game looks, the, the time period. It really makes you feel like you're a Viking. It kind of immerses you in that. And I have played games in the past that, you know, really don't immerse you in, in the single player. They feel like, you know, you're really never there and that's what makes a really good video game in my opinion when it kind of immerses you into it where you feel like you know whatever you're playing uh, you feel like you're really there 
And it definitely does that with this game. With all the settings, the surroundings, the conversations, the, the way the game plays, the whole Viking theme, the exploration, it really does feel like you're in that time period. And that was one thing I was really happy to see. But like I said, from just playing four or five hours of the game. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you played Assassin's Creed Valhalla uh, yet. Uh, are you waiting to get it on a next-gen console? Or are you going to play it on this generation? Let me know your thoughts about the game. Of course, I will have some more videos probably today and tomorrow and going forward here on the channel about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Like I said, leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.